Hello everyone. We will continue the topic parallel processing. And in the last video, we finished with the coding part. Now into this video, we will understand each and everything in the debugging mode, how a task is assigned to the work process. I will show each and everything in the debugging mode. Now, the most important thing which I am requesting to everyone, there is no harm. You can also also understand in that debugging mode, but rather than going for 12 times, go for two to three times. Why I am saying this? See, in case of parallel processing, a task is assigned to the work process. It means in our current program, we will occupy 12 work process. Suppose simple case, you are working in a system and that system has suppose 15 or 20 work process and you are understanding in that debugging mode and you are occupying 12 work process. It means others will suffer at that point of time. So whenever you are learning in that debugging mode, go for two to three times or go for three to four times. So in that case, what will happen? You will learn in the debugging mode and you will occupy only three to four work process. So other works will also not hamper at that point of time. Even I also took the permission from the basis person that at this point of time, I will show the demo. Yes, because I know at this point of time, system load is less. The people who are using the system are very less at this point of time. So I can show you in the debugging mode how the work processes are assigned to the several tasks. You can also learn at any point of time because it's good that you will understand in the debugging mode. But rather than going for 12 times, just learn with the help of two to three times. Assign the task to two to three work process. This is the request to each one of you because otherwise others will suffer at that point of time because those who are doing work, work process is very much required for them so that they can also get that desired result. Now what I will do, firstly I will show you one of the important transaction code and into this video, you will realize so many important things will be covered, which will give you detailed understanding for the parallel processing. So I will go to SM50 transaction code. With the help of this transaction code, you can check the work process. Suppose see, in this particular transaction code, I can see the total number of dialogue work process are 20. And out of them, 18 are free at this point of time. We have update work process. We have background work process. Anyways, at this point of time, I'm showing you using dialog because in front of our eyes, I'm using foreground. So I will only go for this dialog work process. So every system has number of work processes. So please, please do not go for 12 work processes. Whenever you are learning in the debugging mode, go for two to three work process. Now see, suppose firstly, I am just putting a breakpoint. Firstly, I will show you this part. Yes, how the tasks are assigned to work process. Then in the next video, we will learn how we are receiving the results, how we are collecting the results. So firstly, I will put a breakpoint onto this part. I'm putting a breakpoint. I'm running this program. So I will go for this fiscal year. I will go for execute. Now I will show you in SM50. Currently, yes. Now this system will assign a work process to me because currently I'm executing this program in that debugging mode. So one work process will assign to this program. Suppose if I'm going for refresh, you can see I have a program. Yes, this is my program name and work process number nine is assigned and I'm into debugging. 
this is how system is assigning the work process. No. Now you can see what is our first task. Our first task is 1st April 2024 to 30th April 2024. Now, now inside this function module, we have written the code, yes. So I will firstly do the F5 and I will hold there, yes, because I will show you, yes, how this task is assigned to work process. Suppose I am doing F5. This is SAP code. Now you can see this is our task. What is our task? First number task, 1st April 2024 to 30th April 2024. I am executing this code. It's not required because this is SAP code. Now I am doing F5 because I want to go for that code. Now I am doing F5. Now you can see system will assign this task to a new work process. Just see, have you seen new session open? Just see, this code is as it is. This code is as it is. My program is as it is, which I opened in debugging mode. Now another session opened, another session opened. It means this task is assigned to a new work process. Just see what is the date at this point of time. What is the date? If you see this date, we have 1st April, we have 1st April to 30th April. Now you can see this is assigned to a new work process. That's why I am holding in the debugging mode so that I can show you. Yes, now if I will show you SM50, just see this SM50. If I am refreshing, now you can see one work process assigned. This is the one work process number 10 and this is our function group, function group. Now you can see the number of work process reduced to 15, yes. Now this is the way. Now I will not execute this because I want to show you each and every work process. I am not executing at this point of time. So that you will get a more more clarity. Now this is the program in the debugging mode. I'm executing this part. I'm executing this part. Anyways, it will continue 12 times. Now, do loop will continue for the, do loop will come for the second iteration. Now, if I want to reach here, I will simply do F8. Now, it stopped here. Now, you can see what is the task. Second number task, 1st May to 31st May. Now, I will simply do F5. Because we, I want to show you, yes, and I want to hold. Now you can see what is the task. This is the task, second number task. This is SAP code. Please, please do F5 because you want to stop your logic. You want to stop at your logic. You want to go inside the function module. I am doing F5. Now see, system will now go for a new work process. Now I will be able to show you. Have you seen new session opened? Yes. Now you can see this is our code in the debugging mode. Now this is first task in new work process. This is second task in the new work process. Just see this date at this point of time. That date is 1st May to 31st May. Now if I will show you SM50. This is SM50. If I am refreshing, now you can see if I will show you. Now you can see we have the work process number 18. Yes, this is the work process. This is the work process. This is the work process. This work process is for the program which I debug, which I started at the initial level. This is our main program. This is our first task to a new work process. This is our second task to a new work process. Do not confuse with this because see, people will say, previously you showed 15, now why it is not going to 14? See, others user release the work process. So it is available for me, yes. So do not confuse with this. Now, if I will go for third time, just see. Now, I will simply, simply do F8. 
so that control will again stop here because this do loop is continuing 12 times. Yes. Now I am doing F8. So this is third time. Now you can see what is the task? Third number task. First June to 30th June. Now I am doing F5. If you will do F6, function module will execute. You will not be able to see how task is assigning to a new work process. So just do F5. Now I am doing F5. Now I will simply execute this code. You can see this is the task. Now you can see if I will do F5, now system will again go to a new work process. It will open. Now you can see again new work process opened. Yes, new session opened and task assigned to new work process. This is my main program. This is first work. This is first. This is second. And you can see this is third. If I will show you that date here, you can see that date is 1st June to 30th June. Now, if I will show you SM50, just see SM50. Now, total will be four work process. One, two, three, four. One is main and three are others. Yes. And see how the work processes are occupying. And you can see all these are parallel tasks. This is a parallel task. This is a parallel task. This is a parallel task. I want to show you in the debugging mode. That's why I stopped these tasks. I stopped because I want to show how the work processes are getting assigned to a task. Yes. Now, if I will go for next, I'm doing F8. Now you can see system stopped here. Now, when the system stopped here, now you can see what is the task number fourth task. Now I am doing F5. This is our task. This is SAP code. Now I am doing F5. Now again, this task will be assigned to a new work process. Now you can see it is open. Now you can see what is that date. It is 1st July to 31st July. Now you can see in SM50, if I will refresh, now you can see this is main program, first work process, second work process, third work process and fourth work process. So this is the way how the tasks are getting assigned to the work process. Now just see if I will go for fifth time, then I will release this. Suppose if I will go for fifth time, I'm doing F8. Now. I'm simply, simply going for fifth task. This is, I'm going inside this function module. Now I'm doing F5. Now again, this task will be assigned to new work process. Now you can see if it, this is the date, if I will show you the date, this is 1st August to 31st August. Now, if I will show you SM50, now you can see one, two, three, four, five. Now if I will go for this six. So five is our work process for the parallel task and one is for the main program. That's why at the initial level I showed you, yes, please go for two to three times. Now you can see the processes are getting reduced. It means if I will go till the last so others might suffer at that point of time because work processes are not available. Now I will show you how the tasks are getting finished and how work process we release. Suppose I'm finishing this task. Suppose this is the first task. You can see this is the first task. 1st April to 30th April. It is assigned to a work process. Suppose I'm executing this. I'm doing F8. Now, done. This task is finished by a work process. If I will refresh, now you will be able to see only five. This is one, two, three, four, and this is main program. Suppose if I am going for this, if I am doing F8, done. It means second also done. Now you can see one more reduced. Now, if I will go for third one, 
I am executing this. Now you can see refresh. It's also done. Now if I am going for this, I am executing this. Now you can see it's done. Refresh. Now you can see done. Now if I will show for this, only one is left. Now if I will do F8 here. Now you can see it's also refreshed. So now this is the only only main program left. I have not showed you 12 times because it's not good that I will occupy 12 work process because our major task is to understand each and everything in that debugging mode. And you understood how the tasks are getting assigned to the work process. So what is the summary of this particular video? Extremely important video. First important transaction code you learned SM50. With the help of SM50, you can check how many work processes are there in the system. You can check is work process assigned to your task or not. So I simply showed you how the work processes are getting assigned to the task. It means I need to show you in the debugging mode. So I put a breakpoint. I do I did F5 and I stopped there so that you can check this how the tasks are getting assigned to work process. I showed you five times. Yes, whenever I'm executing that, yes, that the work processes are getting released. And it's a request whenever you are doing the practical, please, please do two to three times, not more than that, because your target is not to make or to do your target is not to suffer other people. Now in the next video, we will simply understand how the results are getting collected because 12 tasks will do. They will learn, they will execute in parallel, but we need to ex collect the results at the last. So we will simply, simply debug that part, but we will not get the output. Then we will see what is the way to get the output. So that's it in this video. Thank you.